Good morning, Sofia. Good morning. How are you today? I'm okay. All right, that's nice. Hi, Exa. Good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you today? I'm fine. All right, very good. Ready very to fine. begin another day? <laughs> yes. All right, very good. I'm happy to hear that. Very good morning. Uh, Maria Raceli, good morning. Morning. How are you today? Um, we Tired? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, very good. I know it's it's hard. All right, very good. Okay, guys. So um thank you for joining the class. Well, today we're going to wrap it up. I mean, we're gonna wrap up the topic of simple past versus past continuous with the while and when. So we're going to do like uh several activities, a lot of exercises for you. And then tomorrow we're going to start like a different topic, a new topic always from the platform, all right? So that, that remember that the platform is the one that guides us. All right, so um, I'm gonna show you this and this is what we finished with yesterday. Uh, I actually had this. this, this was part of the presentation that we just um, finished watching yesterday and I'm just gonna read it like slower than yesterday because yesterday you guys had to go. Good morning, Senia. She's coming in, very good. Okay, so here are the, like, let's say all the uses possible of when and while, all right? So as I read it yesterday, but because we had several people that were not in class yesterday, we're gonna do it again. Maybe Sophia, can you help me read number one, please? Okay. Well, is used to express two continuous action happening at the same time. Example, while you were sleeping, I was doing the housework. All right, very good. So here we're like talking, oh, thank you. We're talking about two actions, all right, express. Um, in this case, we're using while, and it's used to express two continuous actions happening at the same time, all right? While you were sleeping, at six o'clock, let's say, I was doing the housework, okay? so. It happened at the same time. Very good. Uh, Senia, do you mind reading number two for us, please? When is used to express an action that happening in the course of another action. Mm -hmm. Example, when we were in the city center, we went to nice restaurant. Very good, thank you, Senia. All right, so when is used to express an action that happened in the course of another action. So we can say here, for example, when we were in the city center, we went to nice restaurants, okay? So here is one action happened in the course of the other one. Here is not the same as number one, because in number one, the two actions uh, ex that are expressed, all right, are happening at the same time. Here in number two, no, one occurred or one happened, all right, in the course of the other action. Okay, very good. Good morning, Carla. Good morning, Franklin. All right, very good. Let's continue Morning, here. teacher. Thanks. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Very good. Maria Raceli, do you mind reading number three, please? Okay. Uh, why or when is used when a continuous long action is interrupted by a short action? Example, um, why I was doing homework when my mother knocked at the, at the door. Excellent, thank you. All right, so here we can use either either while or when, all right? Number one, you use while to express the two activities that are happening at the same time. Or number two, you only use when, when there is an activity happening in the course of another action. But on number three, you can either use while or when. For what? Ah, to say that if this can be used when a continuous long action is interrupted by a short action. Okay, so you can either use while or you can use when. For example, while I was doing homework, my mother knocked at the door. Or when I was doing homework, my mother knocked at the door. 
or I was doing homework when my mother knocked the door at the door or I was doing homework. Well, oh, no, that one's okay. So that's the, those, are, those would be like the three choices, right? When I was doing homework, my mother knocked at the door. While I was doing homework, my mother knocked at the door. All right, so we, we can switch between while and when. When can we do that? When, an action, when the longer action is interrupted by the shorter action, okay? And then we have number four, maybe Claudia. Good morning, Claudia. Maybe you can read number four for us. Good morning. Yes, number four. Mm -hmm. When use is used to express an action uh, that happened immediately after another action. Example: When Joe should shouted, 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 shouted at Tina, she left him in the cafe. In the cafe. Yeah. And and went away. All right. Thank you. So when is used to express an action that happened immediately after another action, okay? So in a way, it's not that it got, it's not on the course of it, like number two, but it's immediately after that, okay? So she said, the example says, when Joe shouted at Tina, she left him in the cafe and went away, all right? So as soon as Joe shouted to her or at her, she left. All right, so that's why it says immediately after another action, okay? If you notice here, both sentences, they're being used in simple past, okay? So these are like, let's say, the ways that you can use while and when, all right, for you to like use it properly and then for you to understand it when to use these ones, all right? I don't know if you guys have any questions so far. No questions? No? All right. No. no. All right, very good. Okay, so this is the idea. As I said, when I uh, we first came in with uh, Sophia and Exa, I was telling them that we're going to wrap up the topic of past continuous versus simple past, while and when usage, all right, today. So today is the last, let's say, the last day that we're studying this, okay? But to do that, I want to do like some exercises. So we're going to start making exercises like right away. All right, so uh, the idea is we're going to, right now, we're going to do exercises about while and when. When we finish those exercises, we will check them, and then we will go, uh, we will go on doing exercises about simple past versus past continuous. And then I'm going to show you the video on the platform, just not the video, but I just want to see like a screenshot of some words that I want you to use, because at the end of this class, you guys are going to make stories based on a picture that I'm going to be showing you, all right? And you're going to be using the vocabulary that is on the platform, all right? So that's the deal, all right? So that's what's happening today for this class. And with that, guys, with those activities, we finish this topic, and then tomorrow we're going to begin with a new, a brand new topic, okay? So that's the plan for today. Hi, Blanca. Good morning. Good all right. Morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. All right. So here we have, as I said, this is what we were reading. And then this is the first exercise related to when and whoops, that's not true. <laughs> Hold on, that's the other presentation. I took the other exercises from yesterday's BBT, so you wouldn't do it. I'm just kidding. Uh, do, 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 do. Review. There we go. This is the okay, so th that's why um, that was from yesterday. The, the one we read just read it was from yesterday's BPT, and then we have this one. Simple past versus past continuous when and while review, all right? So that's why I wanted you to see. And now, yes, we have the exercises. So do you mind taking a picture here with this? You're going to take two pictures because they're like about, I think, uh, 20 sentences. They, it wouldn't take you long because it's just using when or while. So this is the first picture. All right, ready? Can I move on? Yes. Okay, yes. and this is the other one. So 19 sentences. All right. Okay, so what's the idea? The idea, oops, not that, 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 the other exit. The idea here from 1 to 19 is for you to read it with your partner and decide whether you need to use while 
or when and to understand why are you using while and to understand why you're using when sometimes we go by year but sometimes we should go by the explanation all right so uh, were you able to finish to uh, finish taking both pictures yes everyone yeah yes, Perfect. yes thank you yes. Carita. thank you Alexa. all right okay so i'm going to send you to your groups i'm going to give you a couple of minutes we come back we check then I'll assign the other exercise, so you go back to your group, and then finally we'll go to the platform to see the vocabulary, so you can get ready to write your stories, all right? So let's go to your groups right now. As soon as your other classmates are coming in, I'm going to start sending them to the groups. All right, so here we go. All right, guys, let's begin. Good morning, Giovanni. Hi, Giovanni. Hi. Hi, how are you? Fine. All right, very good. Giovanni, your classmates are already working on a worksheet because today we're wrapping up the topic that we've been studying since Friday, all right? So we're like doing the last exercises. So tomorrow we continue with a new topic. So I'm going to send you right now, Giovanni, to your groups, all right? They're working on this worksheet about the usage of when and while, all right? So okay. I don't know if you can take a picture of this, Giovanni, because this is what they're working on right now. Can you take a picture of this? This is the exercise that I have assigned to them. Okay, give me the minute. Right, go ahead. We missed you yesterday, Giovanni, in class. Yes, uh, I feel sick. Oh, really, Giovanni? Are you feeling better now? Yes, I feel. That's nice. All right. Were you able to take the picture? Yes. Okay. And this is the other one. There were two pictures. All right, finished? No. No. Let me know when you're ready so I can send you to your groups. Okay. Ready? Ready. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to send you, you to your group. Yeah. I'm going to send you to a group so you can work with your classmates. Okay. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Giovanni. Bye.
nine. Six nine, ano. Sí. Eh, veamos, six. Um, I like, I like, uh, I like the working in group empires. Me gusta. Me gustó Ajá. trabajar en un grupo mientras mm -hmm. yo miraba. Blanquita, blanquita, what happened? Why Spanish? I was. <laughs> what happened, Blanca? No. <laughs> That's okay, Blanquita. Continue. I'm not here, okay? I'm not here. <laughs> este. Okay. <laughs> show, the, the, show the answer. Show the answer. Um, Do you want me to check what you have? Frankly. Uh, number six. Uh, <clears throat> I like uh, working in group empires. Uh, in my case, uh, I I think when yeah uh, when that's right yeah very good yeah when was when, when I, I was, was mm -hmm. uh, when I was a secondary school student very good yes uh, exactly. so, yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, number seven, Blanquita. Next. <laughs> um, she was waiting for the. <laughs> she... So. Um, when? Um, when she was waiting for uh, the 12 o'clock train. Mm -hmm. She met um, all She met. She met and her whole friends. Um, in, in my case, is a uh, is while. Okay. Why, Frankie? Yes or no? Tell me why first. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think it's while? And then Blanca can tell us why do you think it's when? Yes. Um, uh -huh. It's mientras. Mm -hmm. O cuando. Yes. <laughs> all right. I'm going to stop sharing your screen and I want to share mine really quickly. All right. I just want to show you something here. So you guys remember this uh, here. This is the one I want to show you. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, here. You ah, can, thank you. Yeah, you can. Do you have this one? Yes. Okay, so here um, it says when you can use it when uh, we express an action happen in the course of another action. So to me, number two, I mean, when would be better than while? All right. But if you want to see another, like you could also apply number three while or when is used when an, a continuous long action is interrupted by a short action all right so can you read the sentence to me franklin or blanky please okay. uh, so was uh, so so uh, so uh, it's, it's not in there huh? yes it's a name yes so like Sue. ah yes okay uh, so uh, was waiting for the uh, 12 o'clock train all right. uh, she met an she old met, friend. She met an old friend. Okay, she so here you could either use number two or number three because there's a longer action here. Waiting for the train is a longer action. All right, and then she met a friend. So if you notice for number three, you can either have while or when and both will be okay. Mm. Oh, All right, so okay. you're both correct, Blanca and Franklin. Blanca wanted to use when, it's okay. Franklin wanted to use while, it's okay. Why? Oh. Because there's a longer action happening. And he got not interrupted, but it was like, then I met him or I met the old friend, right? So it's Excellent. like a longer action within another uh, shorter action. Or if you want to, you can also use when, like Blanky said, all right? Because there is one action uh happen on the course of the other action so either way you can use when or you can use while both answers are correct 
Thank okay. you. Very good, guys. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you may share your screen now, okay? I'm going to go. Yes. I'm going to check another group in case you need help. You let me know, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Said it was El Way. Hi, Sinia. Hi, Maria Raceli. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you doing? You doing okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, in this, we thought for number 11. 11? Yes. I think a one when the train left. All right. Yeah. It's in the city of Wild. Wild? Wild, but mm -hmm. that's okay. Wild. So, what do you girls think? Is it when or while? Maybe it's number three. Uh -huh. Very good, Maria. Very good, Maria Raceli. Nice. So there, you can either use while or when, and it's okay. Okay. Right? Uh, when when Matthew was going to deliver, I think when when. I think the baby boys started crying. Girls, I'm gonna check when. another group. Okay, in case you need help, let me know. Okay. 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 Thank you. Ah, es cierto, va, espérate. Debo tomar esa nota. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Carlita, you're speaking Spanish, Carlita. <laughs> teacher, right now it's Spanglish because oh. we have a, a, a confused. Oh, you're confused. Uh, with the, with the, the, the force um, um, describe <laughs> for why or when. So, okay. Ili, 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 Ili is show me the the the, the, the through the through way oh, <laughs> for the, okay for the, for the the two uh -huh. okay very it's good. for the it, it's for the the reason number three okay yeah uh, okay when we use when or right why, yeah 
when uh, uh, this one guys right uh, i'm showing it uh -huh. on the screen right now mm -hmm. oops it's here all right yes. so number three while or when is used when a continuous long action is interrupted by a short action mm -hmm. Yeah. No, but, yes, teacher, no, it, but I, I, I was conf I was um, confused. No. Yes, I was confused because uh, for the order to the sentences. Ah. So he explained me that uh, the at first uh, is the past continue mm -hmm. and the after is the simple past. The simple past, okay. So I, I, I was confused in, in this order. All right. Ah, I see. Okay, I understand. Thank you. All right, very good. Claudia, I hear people call you Iliana. Do you want me to call you Iliana or Claudia? Because I call you Claudia, but I don't know if you're okay with that. And I'm sorry. <laughs> About names, but uh, people call me Iliana. All right, I'm sorry. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> All right, and I was gonna ask worry. you yesterday. I'm like, oh no, I think maybe she doesn't like Claudia or something. And I'm, and I'm calling her Claudia all the time. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry. Okay, very Not good. Okay. What number are you uh, guys working on right now? Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. The baby boy started crying. Uh, Why? His mother was coming her hair. Teacher, in this case, mm -hmm. it, it's maybe we use while or when. That's right, yes. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be number three, right? Mm -hmm. in, a, in a couple of sentences, actually, uh, you can see that you can use while or when because number three applies. All right? Okay. Why or Okay. The mother was doing the washing. The change was sweeping the floor. Hello, uh, Sofia, Brenda, and Exa finished? Hi. Hi. Brenda yeah. is here. <laughs> well, yeah, Brenda's I here. <laughs> I don't know. You didn't know, Exa, that's okay. Hi, Brenda. No. <laughs> she just came in, actually. That's okay. So did you finish Exa and Sophia? Yes. yes. All right, okay. So we're gonna, wait, we're gonna wait like one more minute because some of the groups are like in 15 already. So they are about to finish, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. Thanks. All right, guys, I see everybody's coming in now. So we have Exa, Sofia, Carla, Iliana. Very good. So most people are coming in like they're just finishing up. All right, let's see. Um, how was it? Was it okay? How was the exercise? Okay. It's okay? Yes. All right, very good. Okay. 
So I'm just gonna uh, share it with you guys so we can actually do it together. All right, to see what you guys have. All right, number one, EXA. Can you read number one for us? Complete it. I mean, complete already. While my father was reading a book, my mother was looking at the family album. Right, very good. So if we go to the rules, number one applies, right? Because you have two actions happening at the same time. Right, very good. Uh, Ileana, number two. Okay, number two. I I was having a shower when my friend took my mother's favorite face. All right, everybody has it the same or does anybody have it differently? The same. The same? All right. Okay, very good. Number three. Uh, Sophia, can you do number three, please? Okay. While well, the teacher came into the classroom, some students were arguing with each other. Did you say when, Sophie, or while? Sorry, didn't hear. When? Yeah. When, when the teacher came into the classroom, some students were arguing with each other. Very good. Number four. Uh, let me see who I have next. Uh, Carla? Okay. Uh, number four. Yeah. Um, I arrived home while all the guests were having tea and biscuits. And biscuits, very good. All right, is that okay, guys? Everybody has it the same? I have when. Okay. Who else has a different, like who has when besides her? Me. Okay, all right. So there are some sentences, for example, that one, that number three can apply, all right? So it's like you can either use when or while, all right? So that's fine. Number five, Blanca, can you do number five for us, please? Okay. When she was a little girl, she'd visit uh, her relative with her mother. Yes, very good. When she was a little girl, she visited her relatives with her mother. Very good. Uh, Giovanni, do you mind doing number six? Okay, uh, number six. I like it working in group in pairs. Why? I was a secondary school student. Mm, all right, everybody has it the same or does it have it, do you guys have it differently? In my case, when. Right, when. yes. Mm -hmm. when. when sounds better, all right? I like working in groups and peers when I was a secondary school student. All right, very good. Uh, Brenda, number seven, <coughs> excuse me. My friend has around. Uh, Senia or Brenda, I don't know. Or me? Yeah, I mean, Brendita's gonna read it. I think she can read it now. Or maybe not. All right, who said or me? <laughs> okay, uh, number seven. Please. Okay, uh, while my, I think, uh, while Sue was waiting for the 12 o'clock mm -hmm. train. She met, she met an old friend. An old friend, all right. Does any, thank an you, does any, yes. Does anybody have it differently? I have oh. when. Yeah, all right. Number three applies, all right. You can either use when or while, all right. Very good. Number eight, uh, I don't know, Senia. Are you there, Senia? Do you mind doing number eight? Okay, the person were having a lunch breakfast when the doorbell rang. Excellent, very good, nice, very good. Number nine, who wants to do number nine, guys? Uh, my, Thank you, yes, go ahead. Uh, my father was waiting in the car 
while my mother was doing shopping. Excellent, very good. Number 10. Exa, I think you wanted to do number nine, so now you can do number 10 for me, please. What were you doing when the teacher looked at the uh, looked at you suddenly? Ah, what were you doing when the teacher looked at you suddenly? All right, very good, nice. Number 11, who wants to do 11? Me. Okay. When the train left, Thomas was rushing to the station. Excellent. Very good. Thomas was rushing to the station. Very nice. Number 12. Who wants to do number 12 for me? Juan Carlos, do you want to try doing number 12? Were you seeing either while or when? I don't know if you're able to do it. If you want to try. The, 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 the electricity went, went off while we were washing a horror field. Okay, very good, a horror Excellent. field, very good. <laughs> All right, very good. 13, who wants to do 13? Thank you, Juan Carlos. I think why. Okay, while Matthew was going to the library, he saw a car accident on Maple Street. All right, does anybody have when? Yes. Yeah. I All right. Went. Number three applies. All right. So you can have when or while, and it makes perfect sense. Number fourteen. Who wants to do fourteen for us? The boy. Uh, the baby boy started crying. The baby boy started crying when his mother was coming combing her hair. Very good, all right, very nice. Okay, guys, I'm gonna stop right here with the exercise. I know we have like four more or five more, but I really need to finish this and I want you to practice with uh, storytelling, all right? So right now, what we're going to do, I'm gonna take you to the platform just for you to see the vocabulary that I want you to use on the storytelling, okay? So this is what we have here. Um, we have these uh, storytelling, yes? Sorry, I need a minute. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so here we have these words. They are gonna help us to write the story I want you to write, the storytelling, okay? So we have the vocabulary here. For example, number one, can someone read number one for me? Coincidentally. Coincidentally, very good, number two. Fortunately. 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 Very good. Number three. This one right here. Luckily. Very good. Number four. Number four. Miraculously. 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 Very good. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Now the last one from this row. This one right here? Sadly. Sadly, very good. This one, guys. Strangely. 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 Very good. And this one right here after strangely? Suddenly. Suddenly, very good. And this one? Surprisingly. Yes, yeah, surprisingly. This one right here? Unexpected. Very good. Unexpectedly. And the last one? Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Very good. Unfortunately. All of these guys are adverbs, okay? And these adverbs, they help us to tell a story. Either a real story or a fiction story. It doesn't matter, all right? So what I want is I want you to take a picture of this because I want you to use these adverbs on the storytelling that you're going to be writing right now, okay? Do you mind taking a picture of these uh, vocabulary? Co uh, coincidentally... Fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Do you understand the vocabulary, guys? Do you guys understand the meaning of all those words? I don't know what is the meaning of... Uh, Coincidentally? Mirac miraculously. Ah, miraculously. Yeah, very good. Milagrosamente. Uh, That's right. Miraculously. Okay. Very good. Yes, yes. Very good. 
Any other guys? Do you understand all of them? Strange, strangely? Strangely is like extrañamente. For example, you say strangely the light turned on, right? Okay. Any other? Suddenly, suddenly. Suddenly is de repente, like, wow, that happened suddenly, you know, like something happened suddenly. Mm -hmm. de repente. Very good. Any other? Sadly. Sadly, oh, like, you, you know, like, like, tristemente. Sadly, I, okay. I don't know, I left my key on, like, inside the car or something, and I'm sad. All right, very good. Any other? All right. Unexpectedly. Uh -huh. Unexpectedly is when something happens without you expecting it, sin, sin esperarlo, right? De repente kind of thing also, unexpectedly. Right? Very okay. good. You're welcome. So if you notice here, you have some adverbs that are positive, some adverbs that are neutral, and some adverbs that are negative. We're not really, I mean, I think it's obvious which one is positive and which one is negative and which one is neutral. That is not the activity that's for you to do on the platform. But I want you to do now with this, I'm going to stop sharing, and I want you to share, I'm, I'm going to share this with you now. Just give me a second here. I want to share this, okay? Here. We ha I have for you a, like um, a couple of pictures. Can you take a like a picture of this image, please? Okay. All Thank right. You. Finished. Finished, guys. Yes. Okay. Take yes. a picture of this one. <clears throat> okay. Done. Thank you. Yes. This one, number three. Thank right. you. And Thank you. this one? No, 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 teacher. What happened? Before, please. Ah, uh, this one? Yeah. Yes. Wait. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. Okay, this one? And I think there's one more. Ready? Um, yes. Okay, this one. Okay. Okay. Uh, how many pictures do we have? Five. Five, right? Okay. So, four. Uh, four or five? I thought it was five. Can you guys uh, check? The last, the last one. Too. Ah, okay. All right. That's okay. That's okay. So Don't worry about it. No, that's fine. This one is at the airport. This one right here. Thanks, teacher. You're very welcome. Yes. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to make, we are right now in class 13 students, all right? So I, let me see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to make five groups, okay? So um, you guys are going to choose a picture. I'm not going to tell you which picture because it, it would be, it would take a long time. So decide which picture you're going to talk about. And what I want you to do is I want you to use not only the vocabulary that was on the platform that you just took a picture of suddenly, sadly, unexpectedly, or whatever. All right. But also I want you to tell me the story using simple past and past continuous using when and while. So you're combining everything right now, okay? So you can say, when my parents were like, I don't know, swimming, my brother uh, drowned. I don't know, or I know that's very dramatic. But anyway, all right? So I just want you to like have this um, story, telling me a story of what happened there. Do you understand what you guys are gonna be doing for the rest of your class? What I want you to do is, I want you to write it or type it, and then tomorrow when we come in, the first thing we're going to do is I wanna hear the stories. If you're not finished in class, please finish it somehow today because I want, I, I'm not gonna give you time tomorrow to finish it, all right? So make sure that you do it either quickly or you at the end of the class, you can somehow uh, work on it, okay? 
Very good. So let's go back. How many groups I have? I have one, two, three, four. I have, okay, fine. I have, I have four groups and you have five pictures. You can choose, all right? Doesn't matter if you repeat the pictures. The, the stories will be different anyway, okay? Juan Carlos and Karen. Juan Carlos and Karen, can you hear me? Yes. All right, maybe you can, um, Karen and Juan Carlos, you can be the fifth group, okay? So you can, I'm not gonna send you to a, a different group, Karen and Juan Carlos, you can stay here. Okay. And, and work on it, it's just the same thing, all right? Perfect, very good. Do you understand what you guys are going to be working on right now? Okay. We have to choose mm -hmm. a, um, picture. a picture. Yeah, oh, you God. have to choose a picture from those five. Did you have all, like, do you have all the pictures? Do you want me to share the pictures again? I think uh, we can use um, the picture, uh, the family in the beach. What do you think, Juan Carlos? Okay, excellent. Or, uh, or, or, or um, the family in the, in the park? Mira, y hay un palumpa. Carlita, Spanish again, Carlita. Teacher, how do you say? Look, it's an umpa loompa. <laughs> there is an umpa loompa. In the in the middle of the in the middle of the. Uh, <laughs> Which picture did you guys choose, Giovanni, Carlita, and Iliana? Giovanni is here. Yeah, oh Giovanni my God, there. Giovanni they didn't say anything. He was How here are with you, you. Giovanni? <laughs> Hello. Giovanni was like hiding. <laughs> ah. Okay. This is at the airport. Ah, the airport. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Let's start. Mm. All right. Okay, it's like a, a little story, teacher. That's right, a little story trying to use everything. Of course, this already happened, all right? So you can use uh, past, simple past, past continuous, while, when, and the words that we just saw on the platform, okay? Okay. All right. Estaba viendo la tele. La otra no tiene nombre, mire, la que está en el balcón. Blanca, so, why are you speaking Spanish? I'm sorry. Blanca, le voy a poner multa, Blanca. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Hi, Franklin. Blanca. Which picture did you choose? This one here? The, the, the city? Center? City. All right. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, okay. Very good. Okay. You keep on working. All right. Very good. I'm going. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Bye. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Ah, the beach day. Thank Yay, you, teacher. very good. You're welcome. What happened? What do you need? Uh, Everything. I don't... <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't annotate mm -hmm. uh, what we use to the history. Oh, the all right. Present, present tense? No, the past, the simple past and the past continues. The ones that we have been studying about. So this already happened, all right? So you can say, I don't know what, like uh, one year ago, 
we went to the beach while we were at the beach, my brother and whatever, and then you take on. Unexpectedly, there was a shark coming. I don't know, you, you create it, okay? okay. Simple past, past continues, when and while. All right, try to use when and while somewhere in your story. And the adverbs that are on the platform that we saw, like unexpectedly, suddenly, surprisingly. Okay. All right, okay? Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Ah, this is the, the, the picture you chose? Yes. yes. Excellent, very good, okay. But um, um, point um, in the other light of in the other side of the street. A uh, man. Man. Uh, guys, watch the verb when it says suddenly Kevin. Kevin appeared. Ed. Mm -hmm. Simple past. Ed. All right, there you go. Thank you. On the other side of the street, a man was selling. I have fighting. Mm -hmm. la, la otra pudiera ser eh, Arian, Juan Carlos, don't speak Spanish. When, when, <laughs> when the cats are eh, saying, playing with the butterfly, the guy eh, was. Um, Desliz, no deslizarse, no sé. It was um, subiendo a te, el tobogán. Was, <laughs> was, was going up was on the slide? Uh, was yes. going up on the slide. Mm -hmm. What? How, how do you say tobogán? Slide, slide. Slide. Slide, S-L-I-E-D, S-L-I-D-E. Uh, -E. Slide, okay. Mm -hmm. This is, can be the, the other uh, phrase, Juan Carlos. Um, maybe mm. la, the doll. Um, When when the mothers was top the doll wrong uh -huh. wrong wrong with the race or or I don't know what is it. Uh, Are you writing the sentence? Do llevo la otra no la escuché bien.
we have three sentences and I don't know what more can we speak, talk about this picture um, for the bicycle um, or, or the fool. Maybe. The cat was playing with a butterfly. With a butterfly? Butterfly. The cat flies with a butterfly. Butterfly. Hey. All right, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring all your classmates because I need to take attendance and you need to go. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. We say the the first one. Thanks. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm going to take attendance really quickly. Remember, if you were not, I, I'm sure you were not able to finish the whole story. Try to finish it today somehow with your classmates, all right? And then you can share the stories tomorrow with me. All right, remember their stories. I don't want sentences. I want stories. Something happened there. I want you to tell me what happened. Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Veronica Beatriz Celso. Osmania Isaú de León. Present. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. Blanca Estela Marroquín. Miche, creo que Blanquita le estaba fallando el Inter porque ah, ahorita okay. no se quedó en mudo y, y creo que ah, la Ah, okay, ok, ok, perfecto, pero igual ya, ya la tenía acá. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Igual él estaba compartiendo pantalla y se congeló. Ok, no Carla. <risa> Carla Giovanna Martínez. Aquí Carla, estoy. Carlita Hispani. No. Hola, Blanquita. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Giovanni, thank you. thank you. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. A Dalila Estela Silva Morán. María Araceli González Flores. Present. Cinia Elizabeth Mejía. Present. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández. Present. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Present. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Uh, Claudia Iliana Casun. Present. Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. Okay, very good. Uh, Karen Lizette Reyes. Present. And Francisco Isaac Cabrera Mestizo. All right, thank you guys so much for being with me today. I know you have to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna come in with the stories and then we have a new topic, okay? See thank you. you so much. See you. Have a nice day, guys. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs>